change of plans well not a change of plans an extension of plans we have discovered how to get into garnet yay you might want to hold that back a little bit yes there so we've discovered on how to get into garnet and so we're going to do a video together um explaining that whole plan and how you can get from you know sapphire into garnet and get a really great hunter right zaru the uh, winter snowball game yes very good. And so today we're going to be breeding out quets. And to get quets, you breed together. Cotuthius and Kulon. Cotuthius and Kulon. And so that's your breeding pair right there. Okay. And of course, this is going to take a little bit of time. Where's the we're thinking it's going to take about 64,000 eggs. I was going to say that according to the Amoeba Guide, it's 57,000 eggs. There was another guide I saw. I don't know if it was Superman or somebody else's. They said 64,000, so the jury's out. But it should take mm -hmm. roughly about 60,000 eggs. Okay. And we'll be able to figure out. I have 114,000 eggs, so we will know at the end of this and give you a number. Keep track of that. 114? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so it actually is going pretty well. Good. Okay, and while that sits down, we might, do you want to discuss yeah, our I, new plan and how you came to it? Well, one of the issues that I noticed is I wanted, after I bred Mihatan, to uh, basically get into Garnetir, and I was under the impression, a mistaken one at that, is that you could breed out another Sapphire Legendary for as little as 25k versus 125k. I was mistaken. Because in order to get out of Sapphire into Garnet, what you need to do is you need to breed two Sapphire Legendaries. From those two Sapphire Legendaries, you need to breed a Mythic. And once you breed out yet a third Sapphire Legendary at full price, uh, then when you combine that Sapphire Legendary with the Mythic, then you will get a Garnet Legendary. Now, originally, uh, I was going for a Poffet when I wanted to get into um, Sapphire and to do that you needed to get Napa mm -hmm. and you needed to get Sekum and Sekum is you know, supposedly a great hunter better than Garganus but Garganus too is a blast dragon so mm -hmm. his projectiles explode so for those of you who had missed uh, your chance at maxing uh, Shade back in the day and I was one of them uh, yeah I got Scar all the way up to Sapphire and he's a great hunter with the spell flux takes down towers, whatnot, even if there are shields up, it's a white spell. But I regretted not getting shade up any higher. And it cost me, you know, a lot of effort and time and whatnot. But Garganus has the crumble to dust like shade. So Garganus is definitely a dragon to consider and he's a sapphire dragon. 
And basically for those of you again who miss Shade, Garganus is a fine substitute. He also has Steel Essence, so he's actually more flexible than Shade. For some of you, maybe it's just easier to focus on the Crumble to Dust if you want to just focus on the Steel Essence. If you want to focus on both, that's fine, regardless of the style of player yeah. you are. But it still is a proven tactic to send in a hunter and then a great warrior to clean up a base. Inevitably, it'll give you uh, a more potent combination of the bases secured against warriors. Now, what we're doing is I decided to change my plans because I noticed uh, I originally had wanted to get Avalanche. And the way to get Avalanche is you need to combine Mihatan with Scorchel. But in order to get Avalanche, I would also need to get some other dragons, among whom was Rizar, and I just really didn't want to get him at this point. Not a bad mm -hmm. dragon, but he's not as good a hunter as Garganus, and Sekim is a better hunter than Garganus, and from what it turns out, Zaro is a better hunter than Frost, and Frost is a better hunter than, you know, Sekim. So yeah. as you go up the hierarchy, you know, it's not just getting the dragon, mm -hmm. it's when you get it for him to be able to give you the maximum support because as we had in an earlier video, Rysos is definitely a serious acquisition but we were able to backbreed him for 2500 tokens. Yeah. yeah, he's not going to be a make it or break a dragon from us which goes back to what I was saying earlier for players who go up slower. The uh, legendary gold and uh, platinum dragons mm -hmm. like Kelvin and Chrysos, while they're great dragons of their own accord, certainly a fine acquisition, they become breeders into higher tiers because if you have your divines maxed yeah. to, you know, Emerald Sphere for Tarant, uh, Tangu, and uh, um, what was the other one? Uh, Tarant, Tarant, Tangu, Tangu and Snowdrop. Snowdrop. Yeah which I did, you know, they're my heaviest hitter, you know, and I have Al Gore, so mm -hmm. these dragons are all basically breeders to unlock the new tiers. The only advice I can give for players progressing more quickly is try to unlock the better dragons if you can. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, a mouthful said. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. One of the things that we were discussing earlier is that um, a lot of people are going to get bogged down in uh, gold and platinum for a long time just because it takes so many ages and so many resources. And that garnet, sapphire, and emerald are really for the upper tier players. And, and because of that, you know, it's going to take pe uh, players that don't put in the money to just speed things up and get eggs and stuff like that a lot more time to get into those. Or you're going to have been playing this game for a really long time. And you can look at players... Um, like that, I saw like level 200 players that have a combined firepower of 7 or 8 million. Now for the junior players that sounds like a lot. But when you're also talking about, well this is, this is a problem that occurred, is that when they made Shades, when they made Scar, when they made a Bond, the complaint was that they were too powerful. And you too basically, early. yeah, too powerful, too early. So the mm -hmm. next season, you know, some people say they got nerfed down. They didn't get nerfed down, they were able to develop at higher levels. Okay, so Sorry to interrupt. Okay. We finished our first egg, which is uh, Chris, on. no croissant. Oh, okay. And Sorry. we are going to no, we're not, not going to we're not going to incubate him because I don't need him. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time. Where's the we're thinking it's going to take about 64,000 eggs. I was going to say that according to the Amoeba guide, it's 57,000 eggs. There was another guide I saw. I don't know if it was Superman or somebody else. Because they said 64,000, so the jury's out. But it should take mm -hmm. roughly about 60,000 eggs. Okay. And we'll be able to figure out. I have 114,000 eggs. So we're going to look at this and give you a number. 114. Okay. And so it's actually going to be good. Well, that sits down. We might want to discuss. Yeah. 16 to 50, so it is 64. It's under 64,000. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just so you can see that. Yeah, so the Amoeba guide said that it was 57 K. It's not 57 K. It's just under 64. Yep. Yeah. Very cool. And so we're going to. Okay, so here I'm going to try something different. Um, instead of just going through the thing, I'm going to go into and hit quit button, like this, so hit, so you go into the breeding guide, hit quets, so you're here, and it tells you to go to incubator, you can see that, which I'm going to um, and hopefully this time it will not make us choose the wrong egg. Yeah. Okay, I think this is it. That's the legendary, yeah, Kulan is the epic. Yep. So here he is. And 
as you can see, it's going to take 27 days to hatch yeah. him. No, we're going to use speed ups because, as I said in the previous videos, if you wait 27 days to hatch a dragon, not only is this event going to be over, a third of the season is going to be over. Yeah. And if you mm -hmm. wait the time for 22 to hatch the epic Kulan, that's 59 days. That's two months. That's two thirds of the season you miss simply on hatching dragons. Yeah. You know, if I let any dragons hatch by themselves, it's someone like Krizan between events on their mm -hmm. own. Yeah. Uh, that's basically it, but there's nothing wrong. There's no shame in using speed ups. I mean, you have to, otherwise, you're going to basically miss the season. Power Primal Glow? Okay. I also wanted to say, mm -hmm. by the way, that Quetz is another fine dragon. At one point, you know, he was the game's champion. He's a version something, yeah. I don't recall. So basically, after Chrysos, then Quetz was the next champion, and after Quetz, then it became Kaiju. And after Kaiju, you know, he went up the ladder, then it would have been Mihatan as a version 9.2. Yeah, two, I'm sorry, 2.5. Uh, now we're at 3.0. Yeah. Um, and bugs? Yeah, bugs galore. Apparently now the strongest dragon, well, I don't know, they now made the emerald tier, but it seems the strongest dragon mm -hmm. in Garnet tier is Gloomclaw. Yeah. You know, so. so. Which isn't someone we're getting, but not yet. Not so. yet. <laughs> um, we're going to hatch this dragon. And then I'm going to add in the video from this later. You're recording that? Yes. Okay. Interesting exotic looking beast. Yes, it's very pretty. Kind of looks like Kulan, but with some different colors. Well, basically here to show you the page one more time. We're kind of doing this off the computer now because we tried, you know, videoing yourself mm -hmm. from a phone. Then we tried holding up the phone to us That's to do that. And that didn't work because then you needed the other phone to shove into that. So now we're doing it off a computer. We're experimenting with different formats. I mean, we're trying to evolve, not just the dragons, but our technique. Yes. But what I was going to say was, if you'll take a look at this paper, I had combined the two previous pages that you may have seen in the other videos, and you can pause the video at this point. And right now we're at step one, where we combined Cthulhuus and Kulan to get Kelvin, Quetz, and Krizan. Okay. The next step is basically towards getting Zaru would be acquiring the other uh, sapphires, which would be Quetz plus Kelvin gives you Champa, the Mega Durga plus Kaiju, but Kaiju would be redundant because we already have him. The third step would be Quetz plus Kaiju giving you Garganus. For those of you who missed your chance to max out Shade, that's a great blast hunter. Mm -hmm. And then Garganus plus Champa equals Mihatan for 195,000. I'm sorry, for 200,000. I'm sorry, I have to change that. For 200,000, mm -hmm. but 100 fragments, um, a profit is 195,000. And then Kelvin plus Kaiju equals Anapa for 125,000 or 500 fragments. And once you have Anapa and Mihatan, you'll get Zaru, who's the uh, great, monkey. yeah, the winter monkey, the great garnet hunter. He's legendary. So basically, the target for this plan ultimately is Zaro. I call him the Great Garnet Hunter. He's the legendary Garnet Hunter. And the intermediary dragons are Mihatan and Anapa. So if it was follow, hard to follow some of the things we were saying, you should basically see it written out on this page in a six-part plan. Now, again, um, I know there are different guides, and sometimes mm -hmm. the guides make mistakes. Sometimes they don't include certain breedings that you yourselves individually discover, yeah. like the one we did for Chrysos with 2,500 eggs, because some of the other breedings would have given him for 100k, and that's devastating. I mean, you don't want it. So basically, that's it. Hopefully, this was useful, and tomorrow, Ghost will breed out her Anapa, and I'll breed out my Anapa. And again, that was an unexpected turn of events, because yeah. she'll need Anapa when she gets Champa and Garganus combining with Mihatan. I have Mihatan. Champa and Garganus naturally, who are yeah. leveled up, leveled out. Well, not to expert, but to breeding. Yeah. And um, once I have an Appa, once I have, yeah. you know, after that enough eggs and fragments, I'll be able to get Zaro and finally lift the caps off my dragons. But the bottom line is, and I'll repeat this in the next video, is if you want to go from Sapphire into Garnet, you will need three. You will need three legendary Sapphires and a Mythic. So, yeah, they don't make it easy at all yeah. and that's because it is really for the people that have been playing for a while in the upper tier and so when you hit there you know you're yeah up. um it was interesting i was in league chat somebody was asking somebody how oh, sapphire life well, sapphire life is good i guess garnet life is better yeah. i'm just wondering if between emerald and diamonds will be ruby or it'll just basically go from emerald to diamond i don't know we'll see we'll see all right Talk to you guys next time. take care hope mm -hmm. the video was of some use Oh, if you like what you see and you like our other videos and we have ones on, on 
variety of subjects, uh, from how corporations are taking over hardware shops, mm -hmm. or why vape shops are failing, uh, historic sites starting from old hotels to cemeteries and you know a variety of other things if you like our videos please subscribe to our channel and go to our site oregon to odessa.com we have many things there that we've projects we've been working on including our books on a variety of topics yes. and basically uh, we appreciate your patronage and support thank you very much constructive criticism is welcome thanks have guys. a good one bye bye